What's up everyone, John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo here. If you're like me, you hate doing housework, the folks at iRobot supposedly have a solution for you. You may have seen their Roombas roaming about different households, those are vacuum cleaning robots. What we have right here, the folks at iRobot sent for review, is called a scuba. Not like scuba diving, but S-C-O-O-B-A. This is a robot that is going to mop your floors. And you can use this for uh, most hardwood floors, including tile, linoleum, and uh, hardwood. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dig in. All right, so I did uh, literally break the seal here on here to open this up. Let's go ahead and get to the unboxing. I'm not sure what model uh, the folks from iRobot sent over, so I'll put the pricing uh, down in the description and I'll put a little text overlay so we can see uh, what model this is. We'll go ahead and pull out the styrofoam Hopefully without throwing the scuba all over the place. There we go. Alright, push the box off to the side. And here is uh, the scuba. So uh, a little bit about this. It can use uh, water or water and vinegar. They also have sort of scuba approved formula that will go through and clean your hardwood floors. It uses two tanks, uh, one that's going to keep your dirty water and one that's going to keep your clean water. You don't want to reuse the same stuff. And supposedly it uses the water so in there or the cleaning fluid so judiciously you can clean uh, tons of uh, square footage so you don't have to worry about always refilling your scuba. Uh, when I saw this demonstrated, one of the concerns I had was A, if you're cleaning upstairs, they're going to fall down steps. Uh, is it going to go over rugs and ruin rugs? Uh, it actually has sensors to make sure it doesn't go downstairs. Uh, it has sensors to make sure that it's sort of cleaning the entire area of the floor. Uh, so it's sort of a guiding system to check square footage and to make sure it really hits every area. It might take some time, uh, but ultimately it's going to get almost all of uh, the square footage, which is kind of neat. All right, so enough of me uh, yapping. Let's go ahead and see what you're going to get in the box. All right, so we've got cleaning with scuba instructions. Uh, how to set it up, how to empty it, and all that kind of business. So it looks like you remove the scuba's tank, open the dirty and clean, so kind of just dump it out, replace the tanks, and sort of what you'd expect. Um, let's go ahead and pull this thing open. And here we have a scuba, which looks similar to its vacuum cleaning brother, the Roomba. Let's go ahead and pull this off and push it off to the side for just one minute. Like we did with the phones, we'll come back to it, see what else we're going to get. Looks like we've got a, a wall charger here. Also going to get something blue. Looks like we've got a, a pretty hefty battery pack. Uh, this thing weighs uh, weighs a ton, about similar size to say an Xbox 360's uh, power brick. In case you're wondering for a uh, size comparison, uh, the brushes on the Roomba was supposedly move quick enough that actually will sterilize your floor. Uh, I believe without using heat. So kind of uh, interesting. We've also have. Looks like this is the uh, a wall sensor, so it knows sort of when to come back or where to stop. It's actually, I think this might be a virtual wall too, so you can set it in an area that you don't want it to go. I'll come back and check in with what this guy is. Looks like we've got some sample scuba fluid, hardwood floor cleaner, uh, natural enzyme formula. And it looks like that is about it. Let's push the styrofoam off. Let's go ahead and look at the scoobs, as uh, I'm calling it. All right, so we'll go ahead and pull off the bubble wrap, hopefully, without dropping it, which is always kind of risky. Uh, without the battery pack, it doesn't weigh that much. I assume it's going to be a bit heavier. I'll lift that in. There we go. All right, so styrofoam is almost off. All right, so styrofoam is off. Let's take a look at the scuba. It looks very similar to uh, the bottom of the room, but you get your brushes that are sort of going to go through. It uh, looks like the two tanks uh, live right here on either side. Fill them up, you got some sensors, uh, little wheels to make sure it can turn and go around. It will actually navigate around corners, uh, so you don't have to worry about that. Uh, I think one thing it's definitely going to do is scare my cat and probably frighten uh, your animals at home, so I'll be sure to watch that when this thing is uh, going all about. It could be kind of funny uh, for uh, some blooper footage. Anyway guys, I am John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo. This is an unboxing of the iRobot Scuba. Uh, for more information, be sure to check out technobuffalo.com. And for exclusive content, check me out at Twitter, twitter.com slash john 4 All those links will be down below in the what have you. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.